Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with the last part in the painting tutorial of Mortarion. This is going to be about painting the the lantern, the plasma pistol, or the big plasma pistol of this of Mortarion, and we are going to do the smoke. For the smoke, just uh, I applied a base color of Valor Brown, and I will do a second layer to make it uh, more. Well, we can do or not a second layer of Valor uh, of Valor Brown there. Because this wish tonality is not that bad. And here, what I'm going to do on the lantern is I'm going to apply no Balthazar Gold. I'm going to do the the weapon as well in this um, bronze color. Okay, I want to keep uh, keep the bronze metallic for um, the weapons, and we are going to weave a green glow on the uh, part of the plasma. So I'm going to apply this. Okay, on all the pistol and later on we are going to do I'm going to yeah we, we apply this as a base color we are going to cover the full pistol and then we are going to do some details later on with other colors so yeah I do that and I will be back once this is applied so we have applied and uh, the gold color and now I'm going to do a wash with Agat air shade So we are going to wash everything. Okay. And we have done with all the other metallic parts. So I apply the wash. And, yeah, and I will be back to do the next step. So this is how it looks like after the washes, and now I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to add some dirtiness here at the mouth of the, or the muzzle of the plasma. We are going to put the the rusting and some highlights. So I will start with uh, first doing some, yeah, with the, the dirtiness, and to do that. I will use in that case a powder because I think it's going to the thing that is going to work the best on that. I will use black soot, soot from Forge Ball. Okay, I put it. It's a little bit dirty, but it's not a problem because I had a, a little bit of residue of previous wash. So, but you see, it's going to be like a texture of a wash, a little bit thicker. So we can play with that. Okay, and then remember that the water can get dirt after that, so the, the wash can be quite... Uh, you have to be careful when you work with washes. In that case, because I, I use it as a... like a wash, it's not going to be that bad. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do... first a layer here around the, the muzzle of the... Pistol. Okay. Washes will. Um, sorry. Powders, they give a very nice result when we want to do like burning marks or something like that. Okay, so we are, I'm going to apply this more heavily at the muzzle. Now we wait until this device. Okay, I need to wait at this device before doing the next step. So. I wait at this device and I'm back to do the next step. So this hole looks like after the first playing the first layer and now I'm going to apply a second layer. I'm going to go just closer to the muzzle. Okay. Be aware that the powders are not fixed. So, um, uh, when you apply the next layer, most likely you will drag a little bit of the previous layer. Okay, and then I will apply here. So, but this is why I go now with less water. Okay. 
So what I mean is when you're playing this layer you will back a little bit of the previous one. Okay, and I go a little bit to the back. So we want to give this burning finishing to the muzzle of the of the pistol. Okay. This is what I'm looking for. I wait at this device. And while this is drying, I'm going to start doing some highlights on other parts. So I will use as we use for all the Cooper Sikorax Browns. Okay, and I'm going to start highlighting rivets, edges, and different stuff. Okay, just to give a little bit more of depth in some of the parts. Okay, yeah, just have like the back. We're going to point the different rivets. And the spikes is You see now that it's drying, that is really matte, the burning marks. Half. So it's just just to if I don't work in there because I'm going to do the glowing, so this is why I'm avoiding the middle of the pistol. Okay, I want to do the middle will go the glowing of the pistol, the glowing of the plasma, so This is what I'm avoiding the middle in purpose.
Hej. So you see how the burning is looking. I have to wait that this dry a little bit more. The burning marks. So in the meantime, I will do as well the oxide on the pistol, as we did on the other parts. I'm going to use nickel nickel oxide. Okay. This pistol also have this type of corroded holes. They want to put, and this remember this is looking much blue once you apply, and then will become more less visible once this is dry. Okay, I like to apply in different places. Apply for example here as well. So just some random places, try not to be too symmetrical, not too uniform. As you can see, the holes made by the Genji Workshop or by the sculptor, the sculptor, the designer, were not all in the same position. They are quite random. Okay, we're going to put a little bit here. I'm going to put, for example, here on this cable. Okay, and normally try to uh, point the recesses. You can take some of the rivets, so you can go, for example, from this side here. Okay, we can take on the one of the rivets. This is too much, so we will remove a little bit. Just random places where you want this. We can put more later on if we want, but I want to stop here because now I want to do the glowing of the piece. On the glowing, I will go. I will not go very heavy. Uh, very heavy. I will try to limit the glowing zone to where we have the plasma coil. So I start first applying. This is a um, warpstone glow. Okay, and I will apply this mainly where we have these parts. I want to put this glowing, but I don't want to go to overdo to be fair. Here you want to, so if it's glowing you want to go a little bit over the, the edge of the next metallic part. Okay, and here what is important is that you have to do the bottom of this part like that. Even if you want to do a subtle glowing this part will catch, this is metal, so the metal is like a, a mirror so it's capturing a lot, of, it's reflecting a lot of light so if you have a, a source of light just next to metal, this metal will almost catch as if it was the source of the light As you can see, I try not to go to, to mainly focusing on the area of the plasma glow. And just well, give a 
It just needs a little bit over the edge. Okay, that's well. Okay. Then we are going to put a little bit on this part here. Okay. Again, we want to go a little bit. The difference when you do something glowing is when you're playing the, the, the color that you want to glow, you have to get a little bit out of the area where is the origin of the glow. And you have to overdo a little bit, but not too much. If you go too much, it looks dirty. Okay, so I wait that this dries and I'm com I'm, I will be back to finish this glowing. So this hole looks like now and I'm going to apply now mood green. Okay, and we are going to apply this more in the middle. So this means that I'm going to put this I will try to Touch just this type of coil things, and we do like a line like that. Okay, here we do try to go deep inside and do the same. Here we do the same. The coil. Then I do something like that. Can make it bigger here. Okay. Now I'm going to take dark yellow and we are going to do an additional highlight. to make it this bigger and then I take down yellow the war is not looking too stark Okay, and 
now I will thin mud green a little over this turn yellow Okay. Well, I need to clean up a little bit. The other thing you can do is on the edges you can add a little bit of the green glow this will help to increase the effect of the globing. Okay, so for example here. Now I will add a little bit more of yellow in the middle, so we'll take this yellow okay, and mix it with a little bit of dawn and need some water. Okay, we'll do this super bright yellow, uh, green. I think this is good enough to do the glow. No, the only thing I want to see, I want to do a little bit, is I will take black wash, no oil in that case. I'll cover this. And I will emphasize, for example, things. a little bit more of detail
This is more a localized washing. I will paint this with a silver color. I'm going to use Iron Breaker. Okay. You can do any if you want any other detail on this color, but so far for me it's good. So I put this aside. This is how the pistol now looks like. Okay. And I'm going to work on the smoke. And the smoke, this is the final result I'm looking for. Okay, so this is what we are going to work. So first I work on the flies that are in the smoke. Uh, I will use green for the body and grey for the wings. So I'm going to use first wah flesh on the smoke and we are going to paint the bodies and the antennas. Okay. So okay, here we do here. So it's like a swarm of insects or maggots coming for you. Okay, I guess you get to hear the, the idea. I do the rest of the flies and I'm back. So next I'm going to use downstone on the wings of the different flies. Okay. some of these maggots before so we'll do them now so I will do all these flies now the wings with downstone and I'm back for the next step next I'm going to use 
um, let's call this Skarsnik Green and I'm going to do some highlights on the on the green parts of the uh, flies so for the, well, this one here we see the segmented of the volley we'll do something like that like that and then I put the antenna and this will give a very nice and although it's quite a stark highlight these are really a small flies so we can go quite extreme this will help to make them much visible So don't don't be scared to go very extreme on this highlight. Okay, I do this side. side of camera okay, I realize I forgot the one wing I don't know there are a lot of these things flying around okay so I will do the rest and I come back Next, I'm going to use Celestra Grey to highlight the wings of these small flies. Okay, and we are going to do a little bit of edge highlight, something like that. This will help to pop up these wings. Okay, I do the other side. So I'm finally I'm going to work directly now on the smoke. So I will start applying Valor Brown to clean up a little bit the smoke and we are going to use at the same time um, what's called Flight One Flesh. Okay, so we are going to use these two colors and we are going to highlight the smoke. Okay. So let's start from here, a part that I can show you easily on camera. So what we want to do is to clean up and make this smoke a little bit lighter in color. Okay. We'll go here and do this. I 
think this color for the smoke for Nargaba smoke looks cool and different than the typical green and I like more this than the bluish grey color ok so first as you can see I'm highlighting with Valor Brown Also, putting this strategically will help to pop up a little bit more these flies that we have around the, the smoke. Then we take flake one flash. Okay, something like that. Here. So you see what I'm doing here, then with the flake one flesh. While it is still a little bit fresh, the previous layer is helping to blend a little bit more. Although you want some contrast, so you, it's not bad on the smoke to have these contrasting points. So you see, I keep working to achieve the result is here. So I will keep working on that. I'm going back to glue it and show it together with the miniature. So this is how it looks like at the end, Mortarion finish. 
I put a dark brown rim on the base and this is how the final job looks like so here we have the last thing with it the flies and the smoke and then I have here the pistol I think the glowing looks quite nice and it's compensated by the glowing on the other side of the miniature so I want to avoid too many bright points I really want to go for quite uh, desaturated colors the face so really happy with the end result so please let me know what do you think this is Mortarion the last part done finalized this being uh, more than one month working on this guy but I'm pretty happy I'm on the final result I think it's looking quite nice it's looking Nargo and yeah and I I really like with the final result I'm really happy with with my paint job here and also it's a great miniature to paint so if you like challenging miniatures I think Mortarion is one of these miniatures uh, I have to say that it looks better in real life it looks better when you're painting it than uh, on the pictures I will say that uh, I really uh, yeah you have to have it, this miniature on front assembled to judge and uh, the sculpt so that's all for now uh, as usual thanks a lot for watching I hope you have enjoyed this series of tutorials and please leave a, give, uh, leave a like if you have liked it let me know what do you think and if you have any suggestion for future tutorials don't hesitate to leave it in the comments that's all for now as usual thanks a lot for watching and see you later bye